All right, welcome to week 13, mobile applications two, um, mobile app portfolio two. And uh, this week we're gonna be talking about how to present our apps. So next week is the last week of this semester. And uh, so it's week 14 and we're going to be presenting or demoing uh, our final apps. So you should be you know, almost completely finished. You're in sprint, I think this is sprint four of semester two that you're currently in. Um, so what you're going to be showing, and we'll hopefully have Rob Cattle in, um, program coordinator, to watch. You're going to be giving a demo. It'll be 10 to 15 minutes of everything that your app encompasses, the, the website that you have to go along with it, the app itself, the app running, how it, how it works, and then a little PowerPoint um, that you'll kind of use to introduce your app. So. I'm going to be going today through how to pitch, what a pitch is. Um, now, we're not necessarily pitching to Rob because he's not going to be investing in your apps, but I think it's something that is good practice, and I think it'd be good to include like a little pitch in the beginning of your presentation and then do your demo. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about how to pitch first, and I'll give you guys some little exercises to do today in class. And then we will get into uh, the demo and what's required for the demo next week um, and kind of what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So here's the, the land acknowledgement. Georgia College acknowledges all campuses are situated on the traditional land of the Anishinaabe people. The Anishinaabe include Ottawa, Ojibwe, Potawatomi nations, collectively known as the Three Fires Confederacy. Georgian College is dedicated to honoring indigenous history and culture and committed to moving forward in the spirit of reconciliation and respect with all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people. Okay, so to start us off with a little uh, comic here, you can read through this on your own. And you'll see, uh, it's obviously just about elevator pitches. Does anyone wanna tell me what an elevator pitch is all about or what's the point of an elevator pitch a very short pitch yeah so it's very short it's almost as if you were in an elevator uh with you know someone and you're put on the spot and you say you're going i don't know out for coffee in new york and then uh, for some reason you run into someone who's a very um, well-off investor, okay? Some some guy who owns shares in Twitter or something like this, and he's an investor, and you recognize him because you're a business owner and you're looking for funding, and you're like, hey, oh my goodness, can I do my pitch for you? And sometimes they're like, oh no, I'm too busy, you know, I, I've got to go with it. But um, sometimes they actually have, you know, the 90 seconds or whatever it is that it should take you and they'll listen. And if they like your pitch, then you give them your contact information and then you can do a full demo, right? So the pitch is kind of like that hook that to get them to um, want to be interested in what your company is doing. So it's a well-practiced articulated description of who you are what you do and the value you create and what you need. So it's really important to have a pitch because when you are thrown on the spot, you you want to be prepared and you want to be able to swing it. So cool. What's the purpose? We want to inform and explain what we're doing. We want to educate them. Um, we want to persuade that what we're doing makes sense and that there's money to be made, right? That's what, that's what investors care about. They want to make sure that they're going to get their money back on their investment. And then we want to sell it to them. We want to actually be able to get them to invest. Okay. There's different types of pitches. So depending on who you're talking to, you might be talking to an investor. You might be talking to a customer. You might be talking to uh, government funding or general public, right? If you're just pitching an app that's going to be used by everyone in the, in the general public. Um, community leaders or just random people. You can see just groups of people right here. Maybe your app is for car enthusiasts. Maybe your app is for uh, business travelers, right? One size does not fit all. So remember, with your elevator pitch, it needs to be 30 seconds to two minutes. And with 
an actual formal pitch, it needs to be about 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, so we're going to be doing a mix of both next week for Rob for our presentation. You're going to be doing your 30 second pitch right off the bat, um, just to introduce everything, and then you're going to be doing your 10 to 20 minute formal demo or formal pitch after. Okay, so here's the different types of audiences and the different types of pitches that we would want to use for them. So an elevator pitch is literally like you're in the elevator for four floors while you go up together and you want to pitch your uh, business idea in that 30 seconds. So 30 second business idea. Um, if it's a random you know, interaction with someone on the street or, or in a cafe or something like that, 90 seconds of a networking introduction. That's all you get. Uh, intro to entrepreneurship. So if you are you know, just getting into entrepreneurship and this person wants to help you out because they're also interested in business, like if you went to the Henry Burnick Center at Georgian for entrepreneurship, they have uh, people that are actually there. You know, you do a three to five minute business pitch. And then if there's actually investors and you've got a meeting set up um, and you know, you're going in and you're supposed to be prepared and they're gonna be at the boardroom table, then 10 minutes, right? It's all about clarity. Okay, so no matter how long your pitch is, if it's 30 seconds, if it's two minutes, or if it's 20 minutes, everything should be crystal clear about what you're doing, why you're doing it, how you're going to make money and why they should invest, why they should buy. Okay, so um, have you guys ever seen uh, a TV show? Where they where people have to do pitches on the TV show and they only get a certain amount of time. Um, there's a bunch of them. What what kind of TV shows have you guys seen that have that kind of example that format in it? Yeah, very good, Harry. Shark Tank. Has anyone seen Nice Dragons Den? Yeah, that's the one I was gonna say. Have you watched any episodes recently? What is, um, I'm trying to remember for me, what's the best pitch I've ever seen on Dragon's Den? You'll always see them um, writing numbers down, right? Like the dragons are always sitting there with their notepads, writing stuff down as the people are pitching. And they're looking for things like uh, total profit in year one, what their expenses are, how much debt they have still, um, what percentage of equity the dragons are going to get or the sharks are going to get when they invest, how much they want for invest. So usually they say, I want $50,000 for 10% of my company. Um, you know, and this is a good deal for you because da, 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 da. we make this much a year, we have this many sales, and we're, you know, projected to move to 20 other countries by the end of next year, something like that, right? So think about businesses what the business that you're pitching to, if it's a business that you're pitching to. So obviously Dragon's Den Shark Tank, Shark Tank is people and they're billionaires. And that'd be more of like an investor pitch. Um, here, if you're pitching to a business and you wanted Apple or Nike to buy you, you got to think about like what business the companies are actually in. So Apple is in technology, right? Bringing technology from few to many. Nike is in the personal goals. Their brand is just do it. So they're about like motivation. Uh, Molson's, right? Like uh, beer. Then that's the party business. That's like Molson Canadian beer. Um, so you got to know who you're pitching to and how you style your presentation. So you're not going to walk into an Apple meet and uh, I mean, maybe you would have a bunch of energy with what you're doing, but you'd still want to represent a very professional, clean uh, presentation. Whereas with Molson's, maybe you could be a little bit more um, relaxed and uh, have some more fun with it because they're in the party business. All right. Here's another joke about elevator pitch. You get this one, elevator. <laughs> like Darth Vader. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a quick exercise here. Um, how many people do we have? We've got one, two, three. Okay. So in groups of two or in uh, groups of two, I think, because we only have four people, uh, I'm going to give you five minutes. So until 9:33, select a business or business idea that you want to use for this, 
and select a spokesperson to introduce your business idea. So I'll split you off into two little breakout rooms. I'll pause this recording. And then uh, we'll get into this little exercise here. The exercise about what I want you to try is um, you're going to take five minutes and take a business idea. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make this pitch. So you're going to do, hi, I'm, insert your name here. I am the owner of, and then you're going to insert your business. What I do for my target customers and the main benefit of your product, da, 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 da. I do this by, or how you do it. And then I am da, 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 of this business. Okay. So 90 seconds, you're going to say these things, and then we're going to practice doing these pitches. So, um, I'm going to give you five minutes to kind of plan it, write it down, note, uh, point form on your computer or whatever. You can do this for your group's projects as well, if, if that's the company you want to choose to do it for. So you're going to do your, what's your name? What's your company name? The problem? What's the elegant solution that you guys have come up with for that problem? Who benefits and how they benefit? How we make money? And what you've done so far, preferably with customers. So like if you have real experiences that you can be like, it's downloaded by 10,000 people and those 10,000 people are giving us $5 a month already, then you can say like, this is what we've done so far. Obviously for you guys, since you're still making the app, you might not have a bunch of stuff for this. Okay, and then uh, seven year ask. So you know, you have to ask, all right, now that you've seen our presentation, would you like to be part of our company? Would you like to join the team? That's like the big question at the end of the pitch where you wanna get them to come on to the team. Uh, so I'll pause this recording here. We'll split into two breakout rooms and then we'll practice pitching uh, 90 second pitches in front of each other. Okay, so um, I'll pause this. You guys can do your 90 second pitch to us and we will um, enjoy and give you some constructive feedback. Uh, I should start my timer or something. And then I'll, I'll be able to tell you how long you take. One second. All right, whenever you're ready, I'll start it. So our app name is Teams and our company name is Avalon. So it stops uh, switching between Clubhouse, Reddit, Zoom, Facebook. How's your community to together in one fun, easy and super app? Discover the things you love doing and people to do uh, with them. Teams is where you can find a real online home for your communities and friends. Host your own or join one of the hundreds of the other communities that already call it their home. Whether you are part of a college club, online course, or just a crew of friends that want to spend time together, since is your one stop shop for all the things community. So, uh, since is a community app uh, on which you can create your own community or an influencer can host uh, like its community. So one of the big problems nowadays is there are multiple apps for like uh, like famous creators or like influencers. So for a thriving uh, community or thriving followers uh, for an influencer, your community needs to interact with each other and with yourself also. So for that, there are not very user efficient uh, app like app friendly app you i think our only competition is discord and it's very complex so most of the people cannot use it very uh easily so we have to make us a there it is that's 90 seconds okay so i didn't tell you i was going to cut you off but okay. just wanted you to know so that is how quick an elevator pitch is so obviously well you know we'll, we'll get more practice and, and i can let you finish here um, you were talking about, uh, how you guys make money and, and what you've done so far. So I'll let you finish. Sorry. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I just want to let you know, okay. So 90 seconds is quick and, uh, okay, gotcha. so go for it. Um, maybe, yeah, I would introduce the problem a little bit quicker so that you're finished by the time the 90 seconds is over. And like in the last 10 seconds, that's when you want to say, like, do you want to invest in this company? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to actually finish then and then go for it, if the other team wants to go after that and then they can, uh, we can see their pitch and test. 
Yeah, so basically, like what's remaining is so uh, we we made it easy for influencer to interact with the community and also uh, there is a feature on an app like in in app purchase which users can buy to uh, have a more decorative profile so that's how we make money and also when an influencer hosts an event paid event we get a little cut from them also so that's how we make money we have done 50,000 plus downloads all across all the platforms and would you like to invest in our com company there we go nice good closing right on so yeah i would say something maybe like obviously once your app becomes an actual app with the money you'd be like uh you'd probably say something like okay so we get five dollars for every event that an influencer hosts and we take 13 percent commission on every sale of this uh you know to date we have made two hundred thousand dollars revenue um and our running costs are fifty thousand dollars so we make a net profit each year of 150 and we're projected next year to do three hundred thousand in sales and double that but obviously you guys don't have those numbers or those sales so just be making it up so good job nice Mithun, do you have any feedback for him me and you are the shark tank people uh actually uh uh it was good uh, i got some idea about his app uh right. also I, I i i would like to know like more about how like how i can earn more from that like what what would be the more potential of that app instead of like knowing what is the feature of that app so mm. most investor will be looking for the potential of the app in the future that's, that's good though you want to you want your elevator pitch to be something that makes them want to learn more so that they get your business card and then you they'll call you down and you do an actual like 10 minute presentation or something right so that's good yeah cool uh okay rohan and armin uh you guys feel free to do it i'll start the timer you can start a timer too if you want and i'll i'll probably do the same thing i'll just get tell you when it's 90 seconds um so whenever you're ready Yes, sir. Start? Yep. Whenever you start talking, I'll, I'll hit the timer. Okay. So we are Arman and Rohan. We are the owner of a company named Nextaday Web and Graphics. So here we are. Uh, we have created our company for uh, startups, those who are having startups. And we design websites and we create graphics for social media platform for small startups. The biggest problem for nowadays is the they are not getting much more visibility for online and due to COVID, there is all the the people the customers are searching more on online rather going in person. So we have created uh, so we are planning to give small startup a platform on social media and from social media will send the traffic to our website and the elegant solution for this is. We are providing customer a high fidelity design at lower cost also for websites and uh, startup owner are getting our services in a timely manner and we will send uh, more leads to uh, to the owner of the company by by getting leads from social media by using some different strategies and some some uh, some other strategies by by which we can uh, get more leads for our for our clients and we will send them by the end of our end of every uh, every month so that that's how we earn money by sending leads and sending traffic to our website so that that is the, our uh, our data which we provide to our client what time one minute 30 that's 90 seconds do you feel like you got everything out or do you still have like a little bit left a little bit left I'm yeah, not... it's it's quick, right? It it goes by super quick. Okay, well, I'll let you finish, and then we can give you feedback. Yes, yeah, so like also we will integrate the search engine optimization in the social media platforms to make our company grow and engaging more customers. Cool. Right, and then you ask us to invest. Okay, so nice any feedback guys for them uh, the other group harry and and selman you can also if you have any feedback i thought it was good i thought you guys 
you covered most of the points on there, like you were going through them in order, which is good because first you want to introduce the, the problem so that it's like, oh yeah, that does need a solution. What's the solution for that? And that's like, well, we have one. And so I think you did a good job of that saying like the company's not getting exposure. Um, yeah, I think I would definitely want to learn a little bit more about like how exactly so your marketing or your advertising for these companies that don't have a platform and they don't have a social media presence, if that's how I'm understanding it. Obviously, yeah, it, it's to create more questions for me. So that's good. Um, and I think obviously how you make money is they pay you. And then, yeah, the what we have done so far, if it was a real app, you'd have more stories. So good practice, guys. If, if it is an uh, insurance company, then if we are hand, our client is an insurance agent, then we will uh, we will create a a Google form which which we can uh, put it on social media and we can the those who are interested will only fill up that form. So by filling that form, we are handling their social media and we can give them the leads who who all have uh, fill up their forms and who all are in, interested. So they can uh, call their representative and they can call to their uh, customers and bring the uh, the leads into their company. That's that's what our end goal. Right. Yeah. I guess my my main question after your pitch would be like, why would why would other like why would customers want to follow you if they were just going to see like ads for other companies all the time? Can you please repeat, sir? Like, uh, so you guys, yeah, it doesn't matter. It was just a, it was just an idea for a pitch. Like, it just creates more questions for me, which is good. But nice work. Good job. Um, Thank you, sir. Okay, so oh, I'm sharing my screen and we'll watch. This is a pitch here. Um, I want to share my screen, but optimize it for video and sound sharing so that you can hear. This is a, this is a good pitch. Um, share, automatically optimize for motion and video. Screen two, okay. So pay attention to what she does and the order of how she introduces everything. It'll go by quick. Uh, am I gonna, if I play this, tell me if you can hear the audio. Hello, I'm Gaylene Anderson, CEO of Solonix. Uh can you hear that or no? Oh, you can hear it? Oh, awesome, I didn't know that. Okay, I'll play this and you tell me what you guys think after and we'll see how long she takes. Hello, I'm Gaylene Anderson, CEO of Solonix. Up in Idaho, we love our potatoes. However, the number one problem in the potato industry is that when you eat potato products, your blood sugar spikes. Well, we've solved that. The University of Idaho has patented the best method to improve the way that your body digests potato sugars. We'll use this process to manufacture novel dehydrated potato ingredients that have a wide variety of applications. These ingredients will be used in products that range from french fries to desserts, and they have four main health benefits. They're going to reduce your glycemic index, reduce your weight, improve the way your body absorbs key minerals, and act like a natural prebiotic. We've been working with Simplot for the past year, testing these ingredients on a pilot scale in their products, and they're committed as our lead investor. Solonix is looking for a $2.5 million investment to help us set up our operations and roll out our first products. If you'd like to learn more about the healthier French fry, come see one of our Solonix members tonight. And I'd like to say on a personal note that I've been in tech transfer at universities for 10 years, and this is the first product that's made me want to leave academia and start this company. At Solonix, we're making better food for a healthier living. Thank you. What do you guys think of that? This this speech was not uh, uh, prepared in five minutes. No, <laughs> no, obviously, and that's yeah. something. Uh, that was a point I was gonna make um, a little bit later. Obviously, was that the shorter your pitch is, or the shorter your speech is, the the longer it will actually take to prepare. So I know I just give you guys five minutes as an exercise, but uh, it's it's a good exercise. Okay, I'm going to skip this one. If you guys want to do this on your own time, then you can take 15 minutes and then build a 90 second pitch. That's just giving you more time and you'd, you'd obviously do a much better job. So before our presentation next week for Rob Cattle, um, I would like you guys to make a uh, pitch like this that you'll include in your presentation. 
it's same thing, same order. Um, just, you know, you'll have more time to prepare for it. Okay. So, uh, an elevator pitch is not a sales pitch. Okay. It's not a pitch of a great idea, team or product. You are pitching what your business will do for customers, investors, and society. That's what they want to know. You want to pitch how it solves a problem and how it addresses a burning need that exists today. Okay. It's not, Hey, I want to sell you and I want your money. It's, Hey, I've got a, I've got a really good idea. Check out my good idea. Um, your goal is to connect with the person you're talking to, make them who the people who don't know your industry now understand your industry. You want them to know who you are and how you're filling an unmet need. And you want them to support your business ultimately. So that potato thing, pretty cool, right? Like you're like, Oh, awesome. Like listen to all those benefits. Like I would eat those potatoes. Um, so yeah, it needs to have an interesting opening. You'll notice she had a potato in her hand, something that immediately grabs the attention of who you're speaking to in your audience, right? So she had a potato and she said, here in Idaho, we love potatoes. And she held it up the problem. And she got right into the problem. She's like, the problem with potatoes is your blood sugar spikes. That's so immediately I know. Okay, this is about potatoes, food, and the problem is that it's unhealthy, right? So if you're not excited or passionate about your idea, um, no one else will really care. So you need to practice and have something, you know, if you want to have a physical tool to hook your audience in and keep it interesting and grab the interest, and then you need to have passion and be excited about what you're talking. And then, yeah, a pitch, obviously, this is for a five-minute pitch. You'd only have five minutes, or if it's a 90-second pitch, you only have 90 seconds. Um, one point here, uh, do not take too long to get to the problem that you're solving. So she got to the problem within like the first five or 10 seconds. That's what you want to address right away. So you want to have your little hook, your little sentence, and then you want to get right into the problem and how you solve it. Um, there's a story to a pitch. Okay. There's a beginning, a middle and an end. And I'm going to break down each of these. So the beginning is the hook. And what the hook basically means is like that interesting thing that captures everyone's attention. So that's the potato. Did you guys find that it was like a little interest? Well, not a little interesting, but like you see her holding a potato and you're like, oh, and you get a little curious. Did you guys find that you kind of got drawn in by that and that, and that it worked? Or would you say, eh, like didn't really do anything for you? maybe in person, it's a little different too. But um, obviously, the beginning, you have your introductions and your company name, and then what the big problem is and the solution. Okay, that's the beginning. In the middle, you say how it benefits how they make money and what they've done so far. And then the end is your competition, your partnerships, your milestones. This is obviously if you have a five minute pitch now, not a 90 second pitch. And then you have your closing summary. If it was just a 90 second pitch, you'd ignore these. And you'd go into your summary, just like she did. She said, we've got this much in sales. This is our partner. We're looking for $2.5 million. Who's interested? Um, okay, so here you have, again, reordered kind of the, the items we want to look at. The hook, who you are, brief description, target market, how they benefit, how you make money, and then a tagline or a pitch closing. Keep it simple, right? You don't need to overcomplicate it and get into the details of, uh, now this is for a pitch. So this is, this is different, but, uh, like when we're talking to Rob next week, you don't need to get into the details of like, we used C plus plus here and C sharp here. And we did some Firebase authentication. You want to show them the product, right? And you want to get them hooked, um, make a good first impression and We'll skip these. Yeah, it's not a lecture on the technology um, or the product or the market, right? You're trying to sell them on the actual problem and solution that you have. It's focused on you, right? Um, since some of you might want to get a competitive advantage on this, um, remember your pitch is your heavy artillery. So it's how you convince others that you're building a successful business and the listener should support you. 
Um, it should be able to be understood by a fifth grader, right? It should be that simple that you can say like, hey, potatoes are bad for you. We have something that's made from potatoes, but we took all the bad stuff out. So it should be able to be understood by a kid. Um, you don't wanna make it too complicated. Keep it to its time limit. So if it's 90 seconds or three minutes, keep within it and be organized, tell a story, have that beginning, middle and end and practice, practice, practice for next week, right? Um, a couple tips, just smiling, being energized, using slides to keep you you know, on, on schedule. Um, if you're doing slides, 18 point to 24 point font is preferred and no smaller and no more than five to six points per slide, no complex charts, pictures are worth a thousand words, right? Uh, things to avoid, spelling mistakes, not paying attention to your audience, massive text on the slides, talking uh, to the slides, and then uh, too much time on the wrong stuff. So you should never spend more than 20% of the time that you have on one single point, right? So you wanna to continue to work yourself through that story, okay? And then and you don't wanna say any amateur statements like there is no competition with what we're doing. No one's ever done this before because that's generally not true. Typically there's a business out there that's already doing stuff that's very similar. Um, try to avoid geek speak. So what that means is stuff that the listener won't understand. So. You don't need to get into like how you programmed everything and the language that you used and why you dis decided to do this function or whatever. You don't need to say we used 4851 bit encryption algorithm, right? You just need to say, we allow medical professionals to operate on cancer patients using the least invasive equipment on the market. You don't say we provide non-penetrable debridement medical equipment technologies for lymph node excision by integrating with our encryption algorithm that's integrated with the newest 254 bit Dorland operators, right? You've got, you keep it simple. Um, and that, lastly, respect time. Time yourself per slide and practice for next week. So what we're gonna do with Rob next week, you're gonna have your 90 second pitch, and then we're gonna get into something here. This is just a really short, uh, like 13 slide, actually called the demo, okay? Presenting your app. So you're gonna do your pitch to Rob, and then you're gonna do the demo. So you might be nervous, that's okay. Um, I'll be in the audience, he'll be in the audience and um, it'll be your classmates in the audience watching you, right? It's all online though, so don't be nervous. Here's a guy who's nervous. Obviously he's, uh, he's dealing with his stress in different ways and I don't recommend this, but uh, you know, to each their own, I guess. You've got this, okay? Just be confident. It's, you know, 10 to 15 minutes of your time split up with your group and you might share three minutes of that and uh, you know, you're going to pull off a great demo presentation. So in your demo presentation, you want to communicate uh, why you're doing what you're doing, why you decided to do what you did and how you came to that decision to make that business. So Cove Assurance um, or any other example, they're a really powerful tool for running and growing our business and it allows clients and investors to see uh, and feel how things will be better for them. Okay, so if you're pitching remote, which we are, review your recording to make sure there's no technical glitches. Um, have a neutral background behind you. So for me, my office, I do have this chair and then like a picture frame down there. That's okay. Um, if you had nothing or if you wanna use like one of those Zoom green screens, go for it. Look into your camera. I try to do that every now and then and smile and have fun. Okay, so what do we want to prepare? Well, you should have a script or an outline, at least bullet points of what you want to cover next week and make the flow logical. So I don't want you guys to just be winging it when you go up there with Rob. Okay, we want it to look professional. We want it to look well put together and practiced. So you might have to get on a couple Zoom calls with your classmates and practice so that it's very natural. Keep each section short, precise, and simple, easy to understand. Um, you don't want to be reading from the script as you present. So make sure you know if you just have to glance over and then it reminds you what to say, and then you should be able to go off of what you actually know. It's your product. You guys have been programming this for a really long time. I'm sure you know what you want to 
like what your app does. So you don't have to have everything written down. Don't just read it straight from the script. Um, and it would be great if your cameras could be on, right? You can put on a nice shirt and this is a great practice for you guys going, you know, as if you were presenting to a business. Um, make sure you cover the key points about your app. So you want to cover the key things your app does. This is not a how to instructional video. This is a demo of how your app can get to, uh, of how your application demo of your application to get users. Sorry. Um, don't say what will trigger something. So then say, so as you can see by clicking, right? So don't say what will happen, just trigger it and say, so as you can see, when I click this and then click it and then show them because words and visuals are worth a thousand words. Okay. So the structure of the demo after your pitch will be this, who you are, why you're here. So each person, each team member will introduce themselves the problem or the need. So very similar, the solution describe how you are planning to solve the problem or the need. And then now that you've set the stage, demo your app, show the app, show the website and, um, just show off like the awesome work that you guys have done the format. So how, and what you present, um, so this is, should actually be 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to demo your app, or I guess it'd be like five to 10 minutes to do that presentation with the PowerPoint of like what the problem and the solution is, and then five to 10 minutes to demo your app. So the presentation should be anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Remember there's a beginning, a middle and an end. Okay. Follow the structure. There's a full, uh, live demos that you can look up on YouTube and uh, hybrids of slides and live demos, I think that I can post for you. All right, with that being said, any questions about the demo next week? Or what you're going to do? Do you guys understand? You're going to do a demo first before you show any of the app and before you show any of the website, you're going to have a PowerPoint. That'll be about five to 10 minutes where each person shares what the problem and the solution is or a little bit of something. And then you're going to do the demo of the app after Does everyone, does that make sense? Excuse me, sir. Yeah. So only one guy will be presenting on that day from the group. Sorry. Can you say that again? I just didn't hear. Uh, only one guy will be presenting on that day from the group. No, no, no. Uh, you guys should be sharing the presentation responsibilities. So I'm hoping if you guys have four people in your group, and it's a 20 minute presentation. Well, then 20 divided by four is about five minutes per person. Okay. And you you could split it up where it's like, I do two and a half, you do two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. And then I do my second two and a half. So two and a half and two and a half is five. Right. But hopefully everyone should be, you know, pretty even. Okay. Yeah. Good question. See, I've got some steam on my coffee here. Any other questions? You can ask in chat. You can ask over the microphone. I've posted these PowerPoints. So if you need these, they're right here, presenting your app and how to pitch um, for those bullet points uh, to keep you guys on track. So please, please, please do have a document that you've prepared and practiced at least a couple times that you've just gone through it and practiced so that when you do present to Rob, you know, it's actually well put together. Yeah. And there is no need to explain the code, right? During the presentation. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Cause, cause he's, I don't like, he's not a programmer. So for him, the code won't really, yeah, it won't mean anything. It's not like a, yeah, it's not like a, a seminar on how to, how to code your app. It's more like why your app is good and why it'll make money with customers. And I mean, if you want to show your code afterwards, or if he has some questions, you can show off like, you know, afterwards, you can be like, here's our project in here and check out all the code that we've got and everything. But when you demo your app, I'm sure that'll be just as impressive, right? Cause that's the finished product. But yeah, you, you, if you want to create an opportunity to share your code at the end, obviously this is, 
this isn't an actual pitch. So he's not actually going to be investing in you guys. It's just good practice for you guys to have experience demoing and pitching to people. But uh, if you want to show your code because, you know, you want to show off all the hard work you've done, then at, at, the, at the end of your presentation afterwards, you can just have a short little two minute thing or whatever. And I'm sure he'll have questions for you about your app that you guys will be able to answer as well. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Um, I would encourage you though, one other thing to add possibly. Um, maybe you wouldn't do this with investors, but because this is in an educational context is to add a slide that shows like the problems that you've faced over the two semesters in the development of this app. So like, you know, we faced a problem of getting our app approved on Apple because it wouldn't get passed because of this, this, and this, or we faced this problem with this language because of a bug with something on my computer and just have like a bullet point of all the problems that you faced and how you solved them. Cause I think that'll demonstrate because we're in an educational context that you've learned a lot, right? It'll show everything that you've learned. So if you want to have a slide for that, or just a slide that says things we learned over the year, and it can just be like how to demo our app, how to do this, 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 I think that he'd really think that would be cool too. So yeah, I think it should probably be about 10 slides, 10 really well put together slides. Because even if you spend one to two minutes on each slide, you still have to demo your app for five minutes after, and that's about 15 minutes per presentation. So, yeah. Cool. Any other questions? Do we have to do live demo or a recorded video is also good? It'll be live. It'll be a live demo. And I'm hoping you guys will be able to yeah, put your cameras on and like smile at the camera and be like, Hey, how's it going? Right. So like, you're going to be no, pretending. I, I that... was actually talking about the app demo, like, which is on our mobile, right? So, oh yeah, I think live would be the best because if he has a question after with like, Oh, can you just go back there for a sec? How does this work? Or what if I typed in this, then, uh, you can at least just share your screen. So if you need something to be able to do live, there's an app called a power mirror. Um, Thank you like this and you can you can mirror your app with this for free um and i think it runs i think you get like 15 minutes or something for free there's other app, apps that will allow you to mirror it to the screen okay yeah i think it's probably just better if it's live yeah cool all right, well, if there's no more questions i'll send out the meeting invite on microsoft teams to you guys um It'll be the same time as this. And then I guess, uh, whichever group is ready first will go first, or I can, I can email you guys and figure out what the order should be. But, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, this helps in preparing for next week and I'll be, uh, taking notes as you guys present and I'm sure we'll have questions after. So it'll be pretty fun to show. I don't even know, like your classmates haven't even gotten chance to see your apps really so it'll be good for them too to be able to see what what each group's been working on um yeah that's it so if there's no questions um that's all i've got for today i'll stop the recording here